almost time for the bell How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter But first, let's get the mindset centered Hey, hey, let's go uh, We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade We follow the plan, that's how we get paid Testing, trading, have success Find what works for you and forget the rest Stats and probabilities is what we're about Time to dismiss greed and doubt Focus on the process, not the money And the profits will flow like honey Power our live, let's start the show Come on trade hackers, get ready to go Zero day options, time to make bank Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank Hey. What's up everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live Feb February 22nd Got ourselves a little short squeeze, my friends. Got ourselves a little short squeeze. S&P's up 100. NASDAQ up 515. Russell up 10. Russell only up a half percent. Dow up about 1%, 425 points. Gold and silver, a little bit red. Notes and bonds mixed. 10-year yield flat. Oil up three quarters of a percent. Natty gas down a couple percent. Grains a little bit mixed, euro and the pound slightly green, Bitcoin up 1%, VIX at 14.59, been hanging around 14.25 all day, got a little push as the SPX continues to hit new all-time highs. As of right now, 50.94 is the high. I, uh, I'm... I, I'm not ashamed to say it. I'm I'm kind of proud of myself today. Didn't get myself in any trouble. I uh, had an early Rick hit 30%. My late Rick, I took off at 33% because my max side, my upside max profit was really about 45%, which is my profit target on that. So I took that off early. Um, what else did I do? I got my NDX trade, which will be a loser unless we have a big drop. I've got uh, my PM. So I mentioned in the chat, this is my, I've got my uh, strong up day iron condor, which I launched the bot manually because it didn't quite qualify, but I like the setup. So that one's down a little bit. Need an up move for that. And then I've got my regular update PM Iron Condor that's up a little bit, up 11%. My re-entries, uh, just did a couple small ones on days after VIX has contracted overnight. I just go small size and uh, a little bit discretionary. Uh, just took two of those, negative 400 bucks on those, so... Nothing too bad. And that's about it for me. <laughs> yes, Elliot. Can you? I know. It's hard to believe. I need a nut move. Uh, I, but for Power Hour today, I'm going full throttle, my friends. Full throttle update. So, which means right now it's about to fire and it's going to be the 90 calls and the 80 puts. So 10 wide, two to one. So that should start coming in right now. 90 calls, 80 puts. Two to one ratio. Filled at 9.15. My NVIDIA is, I need it to uh, come back to 720. <laughs> so it looks like I'll, I'll get that upside beak profit of 125 bucks if it stays up here. Which on a $375 trade, not bad. 125 divided by 375 equals 33% profit. Unless by chance we get a big down move and we come into the uh, butterfly body, but probably not. All 
All right, so my 90 calls, 80 puts. This is my power hour trade. Yeah, in my opinion, you got to take advantage of these uh, up days. They are the best performing power hour. I know we are uh, beyond an up day here, but we will see how it goes. It's up the uh, beak, madam. It's going to end up being just $125 profit, most likely. I'll hold it till tomorrow. See if by chance it wants to come down into my sweet spot. I saw you booked a nice profit on yours. Yeah, I probably, if I took it off this morning, where it opened, let's say 750 or 760. I probably could have got a hundred, 150% profit, but I was greedy. I'm greedy. I'm going for the pin. I'm going for the 720 pin still. VXX verticals, it was contracting a lot more than VIX kind of popped, but it's up a little bit. I'm looking for 50% of max profit on that one before I take any off. Corn keeps going down. I guess the farmers planted too much corn this season, last season. Last June, corn was at 6.30. Now it's at 4.19. All right, so my update iron condor is getting close to getting stopped. That would be this one. Should be stopped. There it is. All right, so stopped out of my PM Iron Condor. Still have my... Still have this one here. And then still have my tranche one. I just have some short premium on corn, but it's pushing out of my uh, center. Had to bail on a time fly today after that big up move. Got a couple of ducks that are fine. <clears throat> In fact, let me see if these ducks want to come off early.
No fill at five bucks on my Feb 26 duck. See if 505, I bet 505 gets filled. Yeah. All right, so I'll close my Feb 26 duck. See if I can get out of my March 5. No takers at 505, so I'll leave that one on. I rolled up puts in one of my MES short strangles. The other one's getting close to being rolled up, not quite there. So my PM iron condor's up about 23%. I'll reduce my stop when it gets to 40. And tranche one I'll reduce when it gets to 40 also. It's so that'll be it. If it gets down to 550, I'll reduce my stop on tranche one. Discount, what was your question about March 5th? Was that to me or somebody else? Yeah, that's the one I was just trying to get filled on. Oh, okay. Of course, NVIDIA leading the way higher. MRNA up 15%. They had earnings pre-market today. AMD riding the coattails of NVIDIA, I guess, up 11%. MU also up 5.5%, another chip company. All the big boys are up. Let's see who's down today. If you're down today, you got problems. Lucid down 17%, ouch. Roku down one and a half percent. NVIDIA is way bigger than AMD in market cap. NVIDIA is the third largest company in the world behind Apple and Microsoft. Yeah, AMD is nothing. Compared to NVIDIA. Oh, in one day. Oh, wow. Okay, I got you.
That makes more sense. That's crazy. That is crazy. Two hundred and fifty billion in new market cap overnight. <laughs> that's not supposed to happen, I don't think. I don't <laughs> I don't think that's really supposed to happen. Yeah, can can I get my one percent? All right, so Toronto one's up eleven percent, PM Iron Condor up twenty. I am going to put on a uh, I'm going to put on an at the money calendar that I'll plan to turn into a double if um, we push up towards one of the strikes. Let's do it a little bit higher. Yeah, well, maybe I'll center it. It's already got the built-in upside skew. I just posted that in the calendar channel. Trunch two here in about four minutes.
5094 is the high of day, so uh, currently at 5083. My tranche two will start firing it here in about two minutes. Tranche two, it looks like it'll be 10 wide, maybe the 90, 80s, which would be the same as tranche one. So the upside expected move to start the year is about 50, 55, 30. My market prediction beginning of the year is starting to play out. Here comes tranche two. Ninety eighties filled at seven thirty. Seven thirty. So my stop will be reduced at four forty. By the way, if you're new here, all this, everything I'm doing is in my trade plan in the trade plans channel. Tranche or my uh, PM iron condors at 30%. Just this one here. Yeah, Mukesh, as I just said, everything's in my trade plan. So you'll, you can see exactly all the criteria, everything I'm doing. The exact time I get in, the exact size that I do, the exact strikes I choose, all of it's in the trade plan. 
my trades are being executed via uh, trade steward. Yeah, so what I would suggest is is make sure you go, you know, you can go through my trade plan, you can go through the other trade plans in that channel. There's a ton of good stuff. The idea is to kind of take those ideas and build it to make it fit for your portfolio size, your risk tolerance, position size, all that good stuff. Yeah, it's it I know it's I know there's a lot. It's overwhelming at first, but it's worth it. And the reality is it's not rocket science. Once you, once you figure it out, you'll, you'll be doing, doing it in your sleep. Tranche one up 26%. PM iron kind of were up 29. Tranche two up eight. I'd feel good about getting some stops reduced here. I got about 10% to go. Also, Mukesh, in the Zero DTE course channel, there's kind of a, uh, a Zero DTE new member checklist if you scroll up a bit in that channel. It's a good place to kind of outline a good checklist to get to get started with. Yeah, that's uh, that checklist is uh, for that purpose. You can also schedule a just email support at navigationtrading.com and you can uh, sign up for a Zoom call to get oriented. You should have gotten an email when you joined to do that. For you uh, Trader Sync users, I've got a call with David, the owner, after the market closes today to discuss um, some of the grouping issues. And sometimes if there's a shared strike, or most of the time it's usually if there's a shared strike, it kind of groups trades all together and you got to go in and ungroup them and create new trades and tag them and all that stuff. So I'm going to be talking to him about trying to figure out a better way to to group trades. But if you guys have any other issues or questions that you want me to ask, feel free to post. I'll take a note here. Hey, Elliot, shoot, shoot me a DM if you still have that email um, or if you can copy it from your email or chat or something. Happy to ask him. Yeah, with Tradier, now are you are you, you're exporting those from Trade Tradehawk, right? Dark Avenger. Part of that is just how. Oh, I could never get it to work from the website. Yeah, I do it from Tradehawk. In fact, I've got a I put out a video about that. Um.
There we go. Yeah, there's a there's an example of me uploading from uh from Tradehawk. It's yeah, part of that part of the issue is the format that the brokers send their reports in, you know, when you upload them. So, you know, with with Tradier, it basically comes in as individual legs, but it's easy to just merge those together and tag them. It's a one extra step because you gotta group the legs together, but they're, you know, I I I try to do a different number of contracts for each trade for that reason. That way I can say, oh, okay, that was my eight lot, that was my 12 lot, that's a six, seven, that's a five, seven, you know, that kind of thing. So it makes it pretty easy to do quickly. Toss is the issue for me with all the zero DTE stuff. Basically groups them all into one trade and I have to go in and figure out, okay, at this time I did this trade and here's the closing trade and I got to check them all and then create new trade and then merge them together. It's takes forever. So that's my biggest issue that I'll be talking about. Tranche one is up 34%, getting close to my 40%. Tranche one gets down to 550. Four bucks. All right, SPX back on the upswing. All right, reducing my stop on tranche one. Tranche three coming in shortly. Looks like it'll be the 9585s, maybe. I forgot I got my futures in this one. There we go. All right, tranche three came in. 9585s filled at 585.
So Dark Avenger, are you so you're saying you have to set the commission amount just as one thing. You can't you can't do it based on broker. I I don't remember what my issue was, but I could never get it to work right for the commissions. And so that's why I keep I keep track of it separately, but All right, PMI and Condor up 31%, Tranche 1 up 44, Tranche 2 up 29, Tranche 3 just entered, it's already up 10. So here's my PM Iron Condor and all three power hour tranches together. Now we just got to stay in my bubble. Somewhere between 5080 and 5092, call it. Okay, thanks, Dark Avenger. I will. Uh, I'll ask him about that. Charge three. I got filled at five eighty five. So at 350, I'll reduce my stop on tranche three. Tranche two is getting close. So tranche two, that's going to go down to three bucks. Tranche three, I got five eighty five. So here's my PM iron condor up thirty two percent. Tranche one up forty six. Tranche two's up thirty three. Tranche three up sixteen already. Tranche two getting close. Got to get down to 440 and I'll reduce my stop on tranche two. Uh, yeah, exactly, Mukesh. That is the, um, the move from the open. So... Today, we had a minimum move of at least a half percent higher, right? In fact, SPX is up 0.97% from the open. So that would qualify as an up day. So today, I'm taking all the up day trades. And then there's the option Omega Link right there. It's got all the, all the criteria. Oh, PM Iron Condor needs to be reduced. That is my PM Iron Condor strong up day. 
ten thirty five. Front two is at four forty, so that one's going to point one zero. All right, so I got stops reduced on my PM Iron Condor tranche one and tranche two. Tranche three is. Slightly red. Mukesh, do you have uh, option Omega? If you're if you're going to be trading back test driven strategies, you got to have option omega. If you see my and you'll see it on my trade plan, each each strategy's got a option omega link to it. That'll bring up the back test that I'm basing it off of. If you're trading like uh, Chad's TLC strategy, those are more price action driven, so it's not it's not back test driven. So that you don't need option omega for that. <laughs> that's when we know we've hit the top not have my financial juice on let's see what we have here early indication 297 million buy side My tranche three needs a little bounce. Uh, Mukesh, no, you do not need to use Trade Steward. In fact, I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you do not use bots until you manually trade them for a while. You got if if you try to go in trading with bots before you know how to trade it, it's not going to go well. It's not going to end well if something goes wrong. We you you you've got to learn how to trade and understand the strategy. Um, and if you go back every every single one of these um, live streams is archived. So if you go to the live stream channel, you'll see the the link to the replays, the archives. You can go back. I mean, I just started using Trade Steward a couple months ago. So you can go back to like some old live streams and you can you can watch me manually input it on toss um, using either the spreadsheets or order templates for toss. Um, but I definitely would not start with bots right out of the gate.
trying to three up 20 percent Tranche two up 42%, tranche one up 54%, PMI and Condor at Spark, could I chart all zero DTE positions combined for today? What, what do you mean by chart? These are all my current positions that I have on right now. Uh, yeah, pretty much, Mukesh. Uh, you can uh, check out the Trade Plans channel. Everybody has a little bit different way of trading. Tim Weiss does it a little bit differently. Dick K does it a little bit differently. Elliot does it a little bit different. So Tranche three at 32%, waiting for 40. Tranche three gets down to 350, I'll reduce my stop. So, but yeah, Mukesh, I, I mean, pretty much, uh, we were either part of, partly using back test driven. Um, sorry, I was listening to the market on close. Um, either using back test driven or price action driven. So Chad's is more just watching price action, whereas mine is more back test driven. And some people are doing a combination of the two. Um, I'm going to say that we... Tomorrow's close? I'm going to say we close above 5,000. <laughs> uh, Spark, do I look at the price slices in TOS to see the P&L? Uh, yeah, sometimes I'll do that. I don't, you know, I've, I just unlocked my price slice. Now, now it's just matching price. But yeah, you could do that. All right, tranche number three is about, about to get its stop reduced. If I can get a couple more percent here. SPX heading back up. Well, I mean, Dick, if it if it's above five thousand, then it's then you know then I can actually win a bet against you. All 
All right, reduce my stop on tranche three. So I got all my stops reduced. So that feels good. So which that means is what that means is for my PM iron condor, it's at 35 cents below where I got in. Tranche one, it's 35 cents above where I got in. Tranche two, it's 10 cents above where I got in. Tranche three, it's 35 cents below where I got in. So barring massive slippage, fairly little risk to ride into the end of the day. Nice rookie trader. Really, my sweet spot is between 80, uh, 85 and 90. <clears throat> what do you guys think? You think we're... You're going to wait till like the last 10 minutes and then get a big push above 5,100. That's kind of what I feel. I'm not going to trade on it, but I wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me. Just one, one last little jab right in the heart of the bears at the end of the day, 5,100 print. Yeah, Spark, my my stops are in. So if we get a if we get a big move up or down and it hits my stop on each of these different tranche tranches, it would just trigger the stop. So whether I'm using Trade Steward or just doing order templates and toss, I would have those stops in there. Square earnings. Two hundred ninety seven million to the buy side still. Five minutes till the final final MOC number. Kind of like the uh, upside broken wing butterfly. Square has an expected move between now and tomorrow at the close is about a little over eight bucks. All right, I'll do a little BW, B double double.
So basically no risk to the upside. Expected mover a little higher would get me into the fly body. Tranche three is up 32%. Tranche two is up 64. Tranche one is up 71. PM iron condor up 62. Just need a hold, freeze, close right here. Market on close number in a little over a minute. Oh, I forgot my futures today. I did really well. Um, 2,800 on oil, 337 on ES, 245 on Russell, 185 on silver. Yeah, I cut, cut most of the, basically the whole up move on oil today. I, I, I actually got, I actually made money on ES and Russell on the short side, if you believe it. But I took my shekels and ran. All right, MOC number here in about 20 seconds. Four ninety million buy side. I like it. Nothing. Just nice and nothing. Yeah, still, I'm, I'm still going to Naughty Dog. I just, it's, um, it's just a uh, time, time issue. I've got a lot of it done. I've just got to kind of finalize things. Yeah, so what I did here was, all right, so real quick, oil, looking at a daily chart, it had pulled back, kind of uh, retraced a little bit part of yesterday and started to bounce back up towards yesterday's high, and that's where I got long and rode it basically from about in this little consolidation area all the way up to the top. I got out pretty close to the top. Silver tried to get short, just made a little bit. Same kind of thing. It kind of retraced yesterday's move and then started to push back. Looked like we were going to get some continuation lower. So I caught, I got in like right here and caught just a little bit of a down move. Didn't really follow through much. ES, I got, um, on the SPX expected move to the upside right here, I got short. And then I looked at Russell and Russell was way weaker. And so I closed out my ES, booked a few hundred and then jumped short in Russell and it gave me a little bit more. And then we started to bounce again. I was like, uh, I don't trust this going down at all today. So I got out. All right, so Elliot, what are we taking into the bell? The whole enchilada?
<laughs> uh, you're a bad influence. Yeah, so tranche one is the 80-90s. So we're sort of sitting here at 88. My tranche two is the 80-90s. Tranche three is the 85-95s. My PM iron condor is the 75-85s. Uh, is SPX going to be nice? Is it going to be nice into the close? Anybody else rolling into the close? Does anybody else have the stones of Elliot S? Naughty Dog says no. Cosmo's in. Andrew K's in for Tranche 2. <laughs> Lando's and absolutely not. Murph dog negative. Madam Butterfly booking profits, all winners. Five and a half minutes to go. Yeah, I got to I gotta check in with Chad. He just kind of, uh, I'm not sure what happened to him today. And SPX up to 91. We're under five minutes to go. It just, I think it wants to push on me. I just, I feel it's going to push on me. I do not want to close above high of day. I feel like SPX is going to want to do that, though. <clears throat> but the good news is I don't trade on feelings. So let's go. Let's check my heart rate. My heart rate is 96 beats per minute. Somewhere between 85 and 90 would be beautiful. <laughs> you, got, you got a little over, over position sized, Elliot? Oh, well, you can feel his heart beating out of his chest right now. Just below 90, above 85. I don't think that's too much to ask. Three minutes to go. Beautiful, Dick K. Tick, 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 tick. Chris Berman likes to say at the end of a football game. All 
I could take my 17,000 plus 18,000 and run right now. But I'd be leave, I'd be leaving a couple thousand on the table if we pin here. I mean, what what can really happen in two minutes? <laughs> I mean, yesterday was a yesterday was a fluke. <clears throat> Heart rate at ninety seven. It has been too long, Elliot. That's exactly right. It's been too long since SPX gave us just a nice, beautiful, sleepy close. One minute. Oh, that's not too bad for Chad. I thought maybe he did some revenge trading. I've never used an exit everything button, Spark. Thirty seconds. I think there's an exit everything. Yeah, close all trades in Trader Sync or uh, Trade Steward, but no, I've never used that. Stay above eighty five. Right here, right here is fine. Shut it down. Four, three, two. One bingo, baby. So it looks like about two, a little over 20,000 minus, minus the cost of the long. So it'll be a little under 20 K. This is, this is power hour and my PM iron condor combined. Sweet. Haven't had one of those in a while. Feels good. Man, that feels good. I feel like I need to go outside and do a little running. Nice, Elliot, 24K. Awesome. All right, all. Uh, let's see. Tomorrow is the 23rd. So we'll be streaming live in the morning for zero DTE and then back for power hour tomorrow. All right, all. Take care. Have a good night. Cheers.